Without a doubt, Elon Musk ranks among the world's top achievers. It is safe to infer that he is the ideal person to emulate in your life, making him the best person to learn from. However, there are certain things about him that you probably did not know. Welcome to Good Lux, a channel dedicated to inspiring you to expand your mindset, achieve general life breakthroughs, and discover what personal achievement may bring us. This video aims to inform you about certain Elon Musk related topics that you may not be familiar with. Please subscribe to receive our daily dose of financial and life related information. Elon Musk is without a doubt one of the most fascinating and prosperous business people in the world today. In several sectors, including technology, transportation and energy, he has had a substantial impact. What do we know about him though? Here are a few intriguing details about Elon Musk that you might not have previously known. Without further ado, let's begin. He has eight children. Elon Musk has eight children. The billionaire businessman has a daughter and seven boys. From his first union with Canadian author Justine Wilson, Musk has fathered five sons. 2008 saw the couple's divorce. Nevada, their oldest child, passed away at the age of barely 10 weeks due to sudden infant death syndrome. In the year 2020, Grimes gave birth to their son XA12. The youngest member of the family, a daughter, was born to them via surrogate in December 2021. Ad Astra is the name of the school that all the kids go to. The idea of rationality, quality and exploration serves as the foundation of the institution. It is intended to provide critical and creative thinking skills necessary for success in any career that students choose to follow. His first startup was Zip2. Musk and his brother Kimball founded the Zip Web Software Company in 1995. The company was purchased by Compaq in 1999 for $307 million. After selling Zip, Musk co-founded the online bank X.com. To create the business that is currently known as PayPal, X.com and Confinity combined in 2000. Musk, who has also held the positions of chairman and CEO of PayPal, was the company's largest shareholder. eBay purchased PayPal for $1.5 billion in 2002. Musk co-founded SpaceX, a space exploration business after PayPal was sold. He is currently SpaceX's CEO and CTO. The Falcon rocket family and the Dragon spacecraft are only two of the cutting-edge technologies that the business has created. The ultimate objective of SpaceX is to enable human habitation of other planets. The business is designing a totally reusable rocket system to accomplish this. Elon developed and sold a video game at the age of 12. Musk created the video game Blaster when he was 12 years old and sold it to a magazine for $500. Game inspiration came from space invaders and asteroids. Musk claimed in a Rolling Stones interview that his parents were very serious about me reading and that he was raised by books. He used to read for hours before going to the library to get additional reading information. He finished reading the complete Encyclopedia Britannica when he was 10 years old. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which Musk read when he was 9 years old, is credited with igniting his lifelong interest in technology. According to Musk, he was motivated to start a space business by the book. He nearly sold Tesla to Google. Musk considered selling Tesla to Google in 2013. The transaction would have cost $11 billion, but Musk decided against it because he didn't want Tesla to end up as a subsidiary of a bigger business. For Tesla to keep innovating and pushing the limits of technology, he wanted the business to maintain its independence. Tesla is a technological company according to Musk, not just a vehicle company. He thinks that being part of a bigger firm will prevent Tesla from being at the forefront of innovation. Fortunately for Musk, Tesla has seen great success ever since 2013. The business is currently valued at over $900 billion, making it one of the most prosperous companies in history. His birthplace was South Africa. Elon Musk was born in Pretoria, South Africa in 1971 and lived there until June 1989 when he moved to Canada. At the time, he was roughly 17 years old. As his mother is a Canadian citizen, moving there was much simpler. He moved to the States after getting his own Canadian passport. He is therefore a citizen of three different nations, Canada, South Africa and the United States. He left Stanford University after only two days. 
Musk has two bachelor's degrees, one in economics and one in physics, both from the University of Pennsylvania. He was given a spot in the Stanford PhD physics program when he was 24 years old, but he left after just two days to launch his first business. Musk has made a point of emphasizing in numerous interviews that his businesses even hire individuals without conventional educational backgrounds. You can work with Elon Musk if you have the necessary talents, but not necessarily a degree. Musk spent close to $1 million on the underwater car that James Bond drove. In 2013, Musk bought the vintage submarine automobile that James Bond drove. The SpaceX CEO reportedly paid $968,000 for the submersible Lotus Esprit that was featured in the 007 classic, The Spy Who Loved Me. At the time, there were rumors that Musk wanted to convert the vehicle into a submarine. The Lotus was rumored to have been lost following its initial appearance in The Spy Who Loved Me, but was later found in 1989, wheelless and shrouded in blankets in a storage container in Long Island, New York. Robert Downey Jr. drew inspiration for Tony Stark from Musk. Did you know that Robert Downey Jr. modeled his Tony Stark character in the 2008 movie Iron Man after Musk? Director of Iron Man John Favreau acknowledged in an interview with Time magazine that Robert Downey Jr. asked Musk for assistance in picking up the mannerisms of a tech-savvy billionaire. Musk made a brief appearance in Iron Man 2 as well. Musk founded a school to instruct his children. Elon Musk manages a school within the SpaceX headquarters called Ad Astra, which is Latin for To the Stars. The school is attended by Musk's kids, as well as some SpaceX staffers' kids. According to the tech website Ars Technica, the non-profit institution has been operating since 2014. Musk launched Ad Astra to give his children an education that exceeds traditional school criterion on all relevant subject matter through novel project-based learning experiences. According to a document filed with the Internal Revenue Service and originally noticed by Ars Technica, the kids study in groups and a lot of focus is put on math, science, engineering and ethics, according to an Ars Technica report. There is no grading scheme in place at the institution, even though there are just 50 pupils enrolled at the school, 400 families reportedly applied in 2017. Kanye West is a rapper whom Musk enjoys. The well-known rapper Kanye West is credited as being the billionaire CEO's inspiration. You inspire everyone in this room. Who were you motivated by? During a South by Southwest 2018 Q&A session, Musk was questioned. He said, Kanye West, of course. For years, Musk has prayed Kanye West in public. In Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people in 2015, he included a brief biography of Kanye West. Musk enjoys making cameo appearances. Actors everywhere, get ready, because Elon Musk wants to work with you. Musk enjoys watching himself on the big screen, like many other successful guys. Additionally, on smaller displays, pretty much any screen. He has two lines in Iron Man 2 and has voiced himself on The Simpsons, South Park and a character dubbed Elon Tusk on his favorite program, Rick and Morty. Some Simpsons have referred to him as the real-life Iron Man. On a Big Bang Theory episode, Musk also portrayed a version of himself that is gracious enough to help in a soup kitchen. Most recently, he served as the host of an episode of Saturday Night Live, during which he revealed in his opening monologue that he has Asperger's, dressed as Wario, made embarrassing jokes about the Dogecoin, and traveled to Mars with Chad, a character played by Pete Davidson. Space Aspirations of Elon when Elon recognized he could drastically reduce the cost of spaceflight by employing vertical integration, affordable commercial off-the-shelf components when possible, and also modular engineering, he founded SpaceX in 2002 using some of his riches. In the early years in 2008, it made history by being the first private business to launch a liquid-propelled rocket into space. The corporation is now well known as a brand, a serious challenger, and most significantly, a beacon of hope for space research initiatives, like the upcoming Lunar and Mars expeditions. Additionally, the business receives numerous prestigious and lucrative contracts from NASA. Tesla wasn't founded by Elon. Elon never founded Tesla. He joined it as a Series A investor and rose to the position of board chairman in 2004. 
Musk might also be a co-founder following a lawsuit with the company's founders, Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening, who served as CEO and CFO respectively. He began by designing products for electric cars, gradually transitioned to other methods, and then introduced the cars that became an immediate hit. 2010 saw the IPO of Tesla, which was supported by Toyota and Daimler. After Ford, Tesla is the second American automaker to go public. The title of the most valuable car manufacturer in the US was won by Tesla in 2017. Elon Musk has established himself as a successful businessman who has built and or co-founded some of the most cutting-edge organizations in the world. He also has eight kids and he always appears to be pushing the envelope of what is possible. What he does next will be intriguing to watch. How do you feel about our video? Did you enjoy it? Do you have any further thoughts or queries? Post them in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, hit the like and subscribe buttons so that others can see it and get inspired. Enable the notification bell as well to make sure you don't miss any videos about personal growth. See you next time.